thanks for clicking on my channel joy's way i'm joy if you're new here welcome and if you are a returning supporter of mine welcome back awesome person <laughs> So today I want to play with my Wander Beauty Wanderless Escape Palette. That's what the outside package looks like. I got this in a boxy charm. As a matter of fact, I got this in March, I think, because I haven't gotten a palette since. It was like February or March. So I picked a palette. They actually had a palette choice this time. I picked a palette, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep them or if I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. I've been thinking about getting into the iBeauty prescription box, but but I don't know. I like BoxyCharm pop-up sales or drop sales, even though I don't really buy much anymore, but that's going to change here soon because we're going to have more money again. I am so happy. But anyways, let's get into this. So here is the outside of the palette. You open it, it does come with a mirror. We do have a plastic thingy. These are the colors. And I want to use the sea glass. Oh, so bad. So I decided that we would play with it today, but look what I found. Look at these earrings that I found. I ordered these a long time ago, like a year ago on Sheen and I lost them. I think it was a year ago. It was close to a year ago. I'm or something like that. I have to go back and look. But anywho, Z's. <laughs> I found them. The joys and benefits of cleaning your damn space out. Let me tell you, if I want to clean my damn space out, I wouldn't have found all these. So today I decided I would put up my cute little um fairy backdrop. I would wear my fairy earrings because they're so pretty. Um, this is a butterfly. And over here I have a leaf. And then because I wanted to be extra. <laughs> Alrighty, I am so excited to get into this palette. I'm even going to surprise everybody and we're going to swatch some colors. So I'm going to start off with Moonlit and that is that color. You can't really see it because it is a shiny, but let me put some more on there. There you go. And then I didn't even think about, oh wait, I was going to say I didn't even think about what I was going to use to take it off, but there is enhanced next and there's that color right there let's double dip that again and put that right there it is a buildable so that is always a plus now the moonlit was a shiny if i didn't say that so the next color we're going to dip into is the um flourish and this too is a shiny Ooh, i don't know if i have to double dip into that one that one was pretty and then we have Sun Kissed, and this is a more of a brown, where the other one was kind of, I guess, what would you call it, a mauve? Mm, I'm just guessing here. So let's see. I know I just did that twice, but I feel like that's buildable. So sweetness. And then I have um, Santorn. Yeah, I know, I can't read. Santorin, Santorini, Santorin, I don't know. But we have the next shade, which is also a shimmer shade. And then we have Nude Beach, which, mm, I don't even think about that. Here, switch arms. So we have Nude Beach, which is right here. And this is more of like a base color, but it is buildable. And then we have a, another shiny, and I love my shinies. This one is Daydream. So we're going to put that there. And Stargaze. This is going to be more of a goldy color, which mm, it'll be okay, I guess. Ooh, but let me show you. I didn't double dip. Let me double dip. That is Daydream. And then let me double dip Stargaze again. <laughs> And then we have C class. Oh, that's pretty. This is the color I want the most. Ooh, I want to double dip it again though because I did with the rest of them. Yes. And then the last, last shade is overnight. There's that. Ooh, look, can you see? Can you see my dirty hand or my dirty arm right there? 
Well, son of a bitch. So we can go ahead and do that again. And um, that looks a little patchy right up there, but doable, right? So those are the swatches. And then, well, it'd be like this <laughs> if you wanted to look at it. Alrighty, I'm going to take these off now. Before I go any further, though, I want to introduce you to two of the newest members of our family. So this one right here is Riri's daughter, and I don't know what her name's going to be, but for short, I call her, or for right now, I just call her Little Miss Piggy, because she is quite a big girl. And then the one that I'm going to keep right here, the one doing all of the whining, this is a little boy, and I think we've decided on calling him Peanut. And I was in, what, look at how pretty he is. Look at him. He's like, yeah. You hear that? That's Riri. I think she knows I got her babies. <laughs> he did so handsome. Um, but honestly, he's still young enough. They were born the 25th of May. So they're still young enough. I could change his name. But this one right here, for sure, he's going to have his own little TikTok channel because we are going to record him and post him while he grows so i just wanted to show you the new members because i love them all so much yes i do but i'm gonna put them back i'm gonna go ahead and start with nude beach to put a base on i'm not going to use any eye primer when i test out palettes i never do but if we need an eye primer I finally found one that I like, my Ace Beauté. Like that's why I'm uh, like afraid to like push um, Boxy Charm because that's where I got it from. And when things get a little better, because Dave is back to doing a flooring, he put his crew back together, and he decided that Dordashian just wasn't making enough money. Um, he's like a top Doordasher, so he can Doordash whenever he wants. I, on the other hand, am not a top door dasher, so I can only door dash when they're really busy. I haven't been able to door dash much lately, and I do believe that it is because of the gas prices going up along with the cost of food, and when that goes up, you know, then all of the restaurants and stores and fast food and all that, their prices too go up. So I just don't think people can afford it as much as they were. Even when Dave was out there for like eight hours a day, he wasn't making the money that he was before. He was still making good money, just not the money that he was before. And we like to live comfortably. So in order to do that, he decided that he wanted to see if he could get back into flooring. And just as he was thinking about it, one of his buddies had a crew quit and he was talking to Dave and Dave was like, well, he said it may take me just a tad bit longer, but I can get it done. I can do it. You know, I can. And the guy was like, deal. He's like, I need help. So he is back to working full time Monday through Friday again, doing his floors, which are going to consist of like carpet, linoleum, linoleum, I always say that wrong, tile, um, laminate. I think, I don't know, there could be more names for it. I'm not a floor person. And I um, haven't looked for a job job yet, like, and other than, you know, do, doing door dashing when I can, because, like, I am coming off of my medicine, and I do get, like, when I go through the first week of lowering my medication, um, as my body is getting used to the new dose of um, meds, like, detoxing sucks like I don't know if anybody has ever had to detox but I used to do like hard drugs now I'm not gonna say I was an addict I just have like a different outlook on that I'm gonna say I was a drug user and so um I better put makeup on before I talk you guys zero so I did for a really long time and then I gave it up and every time I just quit cold turkey and holy shit when you detox you go through one hell and let me tell you one hell of like throwing up sweating your stomach hurting having the diarrhea all of it and it usually is like all at once and it usually lasts a couple weeks sometimes longer sometimes less depending how many drugs you consume daily depending on how long all right i'm going to go into the next shade that's a little bit um, darker and that is sunkissed and so far I've got to tell you even though I'm running my mouth about everything else 
I like this formula. I don't know if it's going to last um, without eye primer, but we'll find out, right? So now into the sun kissed. Anyways, um, detoxing sucks. And that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. But I'm instead of doing it all at once, because some medications, like you can't just quit taking. And if you do, it can kill you because it's happened to other people. And I know other people, well, not personally, but when you work in the food industry, like if you're waiting tables, like you get to talk to people way more. And then occasionally like fast food and stuff, you have time to talk to people. Like if you're the one that's working out in the lobby area and you get to go and um, sweep and clean tables, you know, stuff like that. And there's times customers are going to start talking to you. And I can't speak for anybody else, but I can sure speak for myself when I say, Customers think that they can tell me whatever they want, whenever they want. And I have had some people tell me some stories, some good ones, some bad ones, some funny ones. Oh shit. Just like that. Gone. Let me think. What was we talking about? Let me pause this really quick. As soon as I paused, I like came right back. So what I was saying is I've had customers, you know, they tell me stories. They tell me stories about a lot, about a lot of stuff. And I've had a couple of customers that have come up to me and told me, you know, like they don't just like walk up to me and be like, oh, hey, like these are like regular customers who have gotten, you know, comfortable with me. And usually these stories usually have happened more in a bar setting than um, anywhere else. But like, seriously, um, they've told me stories about people who have just quit cold turkey and have put their body in such in such a shock that they have given themselves like heart attacks, seizures. Um, what is the other one I'm trying to think of? Uh, dude, does anybody else's mind just go blank like that? Stroke. That's what I'm thinking of. Like, and, and it'll just be like so bad and there's like nothing that they can do. And so when I'm sitting here detoxing, when I go down like that first week, because I'm detoxing two weeks per dose of medication and I'm down to 75 milligrams now and today's day seven. So the next seven days are going to go by easy. But the first seven days, holy shiznit, let me tell you, it is hard because I do get sick. Like I feel like I'm going to vomit, but I haven't and I should be putting my makeup on. All right. The next thing that I'm going to do is use my little finger here for the sea glass color. I'm going to put it on like it's, um, what do we call that look? I'm just having all sorts of <sighs> not remembering. <laughs> I think they call it a halo look. But anyways, um, I've been getting really bad headaches, migraines almost to where the noise bothers me, um, just a little bit, or, um, if it's the, not the noise, the light, food, like I can only eat certain foods right now, but foods are bothering me the first week that I go off of, um, and not go off, but go down, a, you know, because the next time I'm going to 37.5 milligrams, and then after that, zip, zero, zilch. And so I just don't want to have to go to work, I guess, with like headaches and all that crap, knowing that I can just stay at home right now. And when I'm not feeling good, I can just keep my ass in bed. But I do go out when it does say that it's very busy, unless I have a really bad headache, which I only get a couple of headaches like the first week. It's usually like the third and the fourth day or the fourth and the fifth day, maybe. Maybe it's like the fourth and the fifth day. It's usually two days back to back. And the first headache is like horrible, horrible. And then the um, the second headache, it sucks, but it's like not as bad. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's like more um, like I could deal with it more. Like I could go out and do stuff, but I haven't. I mean, I haven't really been driving, so even if I haven't, unless I'm door dashing, because my son Dorian is 18 and he got his learning permit to drive, so he needs practice, so I let him drive me everywhere. 
so you can get that practice. And I'm telling you that first week, oh, I do not know how I managed, but I did. Oh boy, did I. Okay. Ooh, that is so pretty. And it goes on really well with a brush. I didn't spray it or anything. I used my fingers first, but I wanted more of a shape, you know, like above like this right here. Cause like, if you look really close at my eyes, like, um, you can see the creases. That's cause I'm aging. Um, not everybody has creases, but you can see like where it's hoodie and droopy. So I like to take it above that just a little bit. So people can actually tell that I makeup on when I close my eyes, because if not, then you can't. Alrighty, I'm liking that a lot. Went ahead and finished my eyes. I use a couple of different mascaras plus a um, eyelash primer. It takes me forever. But I also want to remind all of you that it is that time of the year that if you don't do it any other time, especially during the summer, you need your... I was going to say fucking baby lotion. No. <laughs> you need your suntan lotion or sunblock or whatever the hell it is. So I've been using the All Good Sport Sunscreen SPF 30. I got this in a daily goodie box once upon a time when they sent me those for review. And I probably put way too much on, but I'm allergic to the sun. So I don't want and it does put a, I think it's a mineral base. I'm not going to read it. I read it once before. It works really good. And then I've been using this instead of primer. So I do like my skincare and then, um, uh, I do like, you know, all of my, I do all my skincare. God, I can't even think. I do all my skincare and then instead of putting a primer on after my moisturizer, I've been putting this on, but I do try to let my moisturizer soak in as much as it can, because, I don't know, I just feel that it works best that way. And then I just like, you know, rub it into my hair, and rub it into my brows. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have this spot right here that is a sunspot. That is from not wearing anything and being out in the sun and having like everything covered up on my face and then my face will get really burnt. It usually gets burnt off and on all summer long, but last year I noticed it and this year it's getting worse. So I know it's, you know, just going to keep getting worse, but if I can prevent um, any more, then that's what I'm doing. I feel like using more of a peachy toned blush. So today I'm going to use my Vanilla Peach Trouble by BH Cosmetics. So I think I'm going to mix these two colors here and let's see what I can come up with. It's pretty. I'm really liking my eyes. I know that when it comes to me and myself, I'm really conceited, so. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. See, peach kind of blends in more with me, I think. Because I don't like a lot of poofing, like, like poof, like, what is it? Like a shock, you know, blush or whatever. I would so rather just have something that is light and gives you a little bit of a kick, but not too much because I'm going to be outside. And even though I have sunblock, um, like my face is still going to turn red. So before the day is over with, my cheeks are going to be almost red. I haven't used my Glodent makeup palette for my highlight in a while. So today that is a must. And I'm just going to use these two browns or lighter colors here. I always fill in this color and go up. This color. I always fill in this part right here, like the corner of my eye and go up. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me today. You just have to find a spot where you like your highlight and then use it. And I always take it all the way back, all the way back. 
to my hair because I like it like that. Really should try out a new lipstick, but it's really hard to try new ones when I have a favorite. So Juvia's Place Kebi or Kebi, I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's K E B I from Juvia's Place, and I absolutely love this lipstick. Alrighty, so here is my finished look. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I like it. It goes great with my little um, pigtail braided, I don't know. I don't know what they're called. I'm not a girly girl. I just mimic what other people do. So I think it goes great with the look that I'm going for today. Let me know though if you like it. If you don't like it, tell me some ideas. Like, I have a really hard time coming up with like makeup ideas. Um, so if there is a color that you would like me to use, let me know. I do know there are a few people that have asked me to do more nude looks, and I do plan on doing some videos for just my nude, just nude looks. I'm not going to add no color to it, like no popping blue or anything like that. It's just going to be easy peasy, all day, simple nude look. So I'm going to be doing one of those videos here soon, but if there's any other colors that you would like, let me know because your girl, I don't know what to film anymore. I'm not getting many boxes anymore, and I don't know if I'm going to buy more when, you know, we get more money coming in. You know, since the accident, I had to, like, stop everything. And now that we've got more money coming in, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to buy more boxes or not. But anyways, if you can help give me some ideas, that'd be great. I do hope that you enjoyed watching me do the semi-easy peasy look. I also hope that you have a wonderful day. Remember that I do love you. And also, remain awesome and peace out, awesome crew.